Hey everyone, um, once again, Mathel here, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I think Wind Rippers are ready to make a comeback. So, uh, yeah, I made a pretty popular Wind Rippers spec when they first came out, because I found one and uh, threw some things together and it worked out. Um, since then, I have not revisited Wind Ripper for this uh, expansion up until recently, because I saw they were pretty cheap. So I got my 5 link Wind Ripper here for 11 exalts, it was a really nice roll too. So I went ahead and just, yeah, found that, bought it. Thought it was time I tried out Wind Ripper with Tornado Shot since they, um, since there's now Heralds and stuff. So Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder, and Wrath and Anger. Basically the Wrath and Anger auras were nerfed, um, last patch a bit, and, uh, Long story short, we now have heralds to take that place, and you're stronger than before. So yeah, that's just great. Um, so this is my build. Got pretty low life, doesn't matter. Um, gonna run this shrine, vulnerability, monster variety, extra fire damage. So it's not particularly safe. Gonna throw in anarchy, get some exile happening. And, um, show you how strong it freaking is right now. Um, I think 11x right now is pretty cheap for a Windripper, so I recommend going out and buying one. My DPS is 29.6k, that is without, um, power charges. But I use a 6-link Vols, which means I always have power charges. So let's just check that real quick. 39,000. That is freaking massive for a uh, um, tornado shot. It's way more than what my uh, physical guy ended up having. And this is faster clear speed because it doesn't matter how much damage you're going to end up getting on those physical characters, at a certain point you're just going to be one-shotting everything with um, when you're solo playing at least. Um, so it comes down to how fast you're going to be attacking, how fast you're going to be running. My physical spec runs a bit faster because I was using Rat's Nest. This one attacks way faster though. That sucks. So in the end you're clearing faster. But there's son of a bitch Azana, that's nice. This has the added benefit of rarity and lots of it. So um, this is pretty much, I think, at the moment I would say this feels like the fastest clearing spec out there. My fake near is like stronger in terms of damage I think. And, I don't know if you're going to get more damage as a uh, Fizz guy. Because I'm running Volpact on this uh, spec as well. Something my Fizz Tornado Shock I ne never got. Because it was too many wasted points. But I felt like I could easily afford it on this passive tree. And also that I needed it. So anyway, thanks to Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder. You just now smash everything so goddamn hard. Man, I haven't come across a single XR yet. Are they like gonna be super condensed and waiting to have their way with me? First XR, wrecked. He looked AFK to be honest. I don't know what he was doing. map didn't end up actually doing what I thought it would, which is uh, showcasing a bit of the spec uh, in uh, tougher situations. Because, goddamn, I got some easy mob rolls here. I mean, the charges and stuff, they do show off that uh, they never actually really charge you. 
So even though I'm rocking like 3.7k life, a lot of people are going to say, hey, that's a uh, low and, you know, scrub spec, whatever. Uh, look, the thing is, the I, I never have used this word in conversation before, but the meta, that's what gamers like to say, the meta has changed. You don't need that much life or defenses anymore with how freaking strong so many specs are. Like, I can happily kill everything without dying or being at any risk of dying with my life. So that's why I haven't gone out of my way and gotten more. But this passive tree um, it actually is pretty flexible. If you want more life, you can get way more life. Like I said, though, I choose not to because I just don't think I need it. It's a... Uh, Largely going to be up to you. Where are we? Nothing, nothing. Okay. So if you, um... Hmm, run out of lightning flasks. No good. Potentially no good. Um, like, it always happens for me is I have an initial thought for a character, passive tree, everything, and it changes as you play it. So I thought I'd like, you know, 4k plus life, certain amount of damage, certain amount of evasion, all of that. But as you play it, you kind of get a better feel for your character, more and more levels. And um, I've come to realize I don't need much more life than what I have right now. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more, but that's going to be a gear issue, not a passive issue. Um, and DPS, I just want more of that. On top of that, I'm trying to turn this character into a bit of a rarity character, because fast clear, plus the rarity of the bow, um, plus just the satisfying satisfaction, I don't, I don't even know the word I'm looking for, how satisfying it is to kill everything with this spec, thanks to things like Herald of Ice and Herald of Thunder, you're just blowing shit up left, right, and center, throwing out your goddamn... Tornado shots, everything dies, everything explodes. You got you got your alpha's house, so you never get frozen. You can balls rush every single um, strong box without identifying them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with this build. Can't imagine I'm gonna be making too many more builds, but or at least this uh, expansion patch, whatever. But. The point here is, Windrippers, uh, a lot of people have already known that they are still good, and they haven't really gone anywhere, but they're not too mainstream at the moment. Uh, I hope you are one of the lucky few that get in and buy one before they go up in price again, because I think they should. So I'll have more about my build. There's a passive tree real quick. I'll have more videos about this build, and I'll probably revive my old thread and change things up on that. Um, but this was just a bit of a demo, how a more dangerous map with some exiles, whatever, how this build handles it, even with what many people would think are uh, a low amount of defenses. Oh, and by the way, you only use Tornado Shot. There's no single target skill. Tornado Shot OP, Master Race. This 5 link is essentially useless. Um, just running, I don't know, some random crap and leveling some gems in it. Yeah. Tornado Shot. Alright, so yeah, yep. Yeah. Windriver build. I'm Mathel once again. Thanks for watching, guys.